Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again with another Fortnite video. And today I'm going to be showing you the quickest way that I know of to farm nuts and bolts and or mechanical parts. I've even done this for farming mineral powder from rocks and peaky twine and other twines from trees. So this really helps you farm just about anything. But first, before we get into the video, I just want to encourage you to go back on my channel and check out some of my later videos. I actually have a giveaway that's live right now. As of the time that I'm posting this video, it's live. So if you check out the description, it'll bring you straight to the giveaway video, and you can actually enter that giveaway. So yeah, I'm not sure how much longer this is going to be live. As soon as I hit 2,000 subscribers, we're going to go ahead and get stuff started, and I'm going to start choosing winners. There's many, many winners for this one. So yeah. I just encourage you to go back and check that out and if you do enjoy my content then feel free to subscribe not really necessary and uh, yeah you can feel free to leave a like and comment too I try to answer to all uh, positive comments anything negative I try to just look past it but any positive comments I really try to answer back to those and try to stay active with you guys alright guys so we're gonna get right into this video I do want to tell you at the end of the video the last few minutes of the video I'd say about four or five minutes um, it's just me farming nuts and bolts and I did that because at 10 minutes left in this mission or the next mission that I'm going to do, the video clip that's in the end, 10 minutes left in that mission, I went ahead and started farming nuts and bolts for the purpose of this video. Now keep track in the bottom left corner when this clip plays, you'll see how many nuts and bolts I have in the beginning and at the end and I ended up earning in just 10 minutes and I ended up taking out two or three smashers I earned 320 nuts and bolts and I'm gonna show you guys again in this video exactly how to do that alright so whenever you guys are farming in Fortnite save the world farming of any kind whether it's for nuts and bolts or ore or whatever you need whatever you're farming for you always want to use an outlander now if you're farming for nuts and bolts the best way to do this is to find an outlander that has an anti-material charge also, find one that reduces the cooldown of the anti-material charge, which reduces the time that it takes to use it again, right? So this one reduces it by 5 seconds, brings it down to like 2 or 3 seconds. I think the minimum is 4 seconds. And then again, when you hit something with this guy, uh, say you break a car or something, it reduces it again, and it gives you some energy back. So it's very, very good for farming, and I'm going to show you that. I'm using Lotus Assassin Sarah for her endurance training, and I'm also using the new constructor that came out, I think, last one, or maybe in July, Stars and Stripes Penny, because she has impact and knockback on her anti-material charge. I also noticed that you can use one of these guys, one of these heroes that have the caffeine high, because it will get you your energy back quicker, which allows you to use your anti-material charge faster. Alright guys, now that we've gotten that out of the way, you want to know what to break that will give you nuts and bolts. So as you see here, there's three different examples of electrical boxes. All three of these will always give you nuts and bolts and metal uh, and or mechanical parts. They could give you mechanical parts, they could not, I think. Uh, but all the time they give you nuts and bolts for sure. Here's another example right here. As you can see, I go ahead and break through it. This one was in the first example, but again, you could see it out in the real world. Cars also give you nuts and bolts, which is a great source of it because there's tons of them, as well as trucks. Any kind of vehicle will give you nuts and bolts and or mechanical parts. Uh, any playground material or playground items such as swing sets and the little seesaws the I don't know what they're called they're like little horses and stuff they've got like four or five of them sitting next to each other any kind of uh, fridges or stoves anything like that will give you nuts and bolts these things here you can find down in a lot of the lower levels or a lot of the lower areas should I say down in like the little trenches and stuff uh, any kind of construction vehicles or anything, they will definitely give you nuts and bolts, as well as blue glow siphons that have metal as rewards. These parking meters and any kind of phone booths will also give you them, as well as these little newspaper stands. So as you guys see, lots of things give you nuts and bolts. If you're in industrial zones, the best way to get nuts and bolts is through these little piles of pipes right here. Usually you find three or four of them laying back to back and it gives you tons of them. Also, soda machines and snack machines. Gas pumps also give you nuts and bolts. ATM machines will also give you nuts and bolts, as well as ice machines. So pretty much anything that would use nuts and bolts in real life 
would give you nuts and bolts and make sure again to search toolboxes if you find any of these cans that have the lid popped open a little bit and will let you search them I believe any of them will let you search them go for it search that because they will always give you nuts and bolts what I like to do when I'm simply just farming is I like to take some wood or some metal usually you'd go with metal I took wood but just take some metal and build up since you're gonna be breaking cars and earning it all back and try to find like a parking garage or a good source of metal place down one bounce pad which caused a couple nuts and bolts and then something else extremely extremely cheap you can get it from breaking like one car and then yeah just go find you a parking garage or somewhere that has tons and tons of action and you'll just go ahead and farm so yeah this is the clip that I was talking about right here so it starts at 10 minutes even and I go through and get as many nuts and bolts as I can I'm in a power level 100 zone with the setup that I showed you earlier so you really don't have have to be that high of a level to do this granted my power level is 97 so that does help out a lot but you can see I'm not just farming the whole time I'm mainly trying to farm but there's lots of enemies that are also trying to attack me so it's pretty difficult and I hope you guys do enjoy this video be sure to check it out see how I farm see what stuff I hit with my pickaxe when I hit stuff with my pickaxe and feel free to ask me questions down below in the comments like I said I try to answer to all the comments that I can so yeah guys I hope this video did help and if it did make sure to give it a like and share it out with or share it with your friends sorry yeah go ahead and leave a like and share it with your friends and consider subscribing as well because it really helps out a lot so yeah guys that's about it I'm gonna shut up and let you guys watch the rest of the video so I hope you do enjoy till next time guys I'm out peace Thank <laughs> you. 